Hey, welcome back. Authentication is the process of verifying an identity to be legitimate. Legacy applications have relied on a single form of authentication and most often a password. However, passwords are problematic for users and easy to be compromised. Multi-factor authentication or MFA requires more than one form of verification to prove that an identity is legitimate. So that means that even when an identity password has been compromised, a hacker cannot gain entry to a resource. In this lesson, we are going to learn about multi-factor authentication and how it improves security. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Multi-factor authentication dramatically improves the security of an identity. Whilst still being simple for users. The additional authentication factor must be something that is difficult to an attacker to obtain or duplicate. Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication works by requiring something you know, something you have, and something you are. Something you know typically is a password or a PIN, and something you have, such as a trusted device, that is not easily duplicated like a phone or a hardware key or something you are which is biometrics like a fingerprint or face scan. An MFA verification prompts are configured to be part of your Azure Active Directory sign-in event. Azure Active Directory automatically requests and processes multi-factor authentication without you making any changes to your applications or services. When a user signs in, they receive a multi-factor authentication prompt and can choose from one of the additional verification forms that they have registered. So what are these additional verification prompts that you can use with your Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication? They are Microsoft Authenticator app, SMS, voice call, or OAuth hardware token. So let us consider the different authentication methods that can be used with your Azure Active Directory MFA. First, let's learn about passwords. Passwords have many problems. If they are easy enough to remember, they are easy for hacker to compromise. Strong passwords, which aren't easily hacked, are difficult to remember and have an impact on user productivity when forgotten. The next one is password and additional verification. With modern authentication and security features in Azure Active Directory, passwords are supplemented or replaced with more secure authentication methods. What about phone? You can also use your phone as an additional means of authentication configured for either phone calls or text message. If you set up your additional security verification to receive a phone call, you will receive a phone call from Microsoft asking you to press a key on your mobile phone to verify your identity. If you set up your additional security verification to receive a text message, you will be sent a code by text and you then enter the code to verify your identity. The next one is Microsoft Authenticator app. The Microsoft Authenticator app is a phone app that allows you to securely verify your identity. The Authenticator app can be used to provide the additional authentication required for your two-step multi-factor authentication. Microsoft Authenticator can also be configured to use biometrics such as fingerprint or facial scan. The next one is open authentication with software or hardware tokens. This is usually known as OAuth. OAuth is an open standard that specifies how time-based one-time password codes are generated. One-time password codes can be used to authenticate a user and can be implemented using either software or hardware to generate the codes. Software OAuth tokens are typically applications such as Microsoft Authenticator app and other authenticator apps. Let's look at the passwordless authentication options. Passwordless authentication is based on something you are rather than something you know. For example, a biometric facial scan used in Windows Hello for Business is an example of something you are. A fingerprint scan used by the Microsoft Authenticator app 
or FIDO2 security device is also something you are. Passwordless authentication with Azure Active Directory, such as the Microsoft Authenticator app or FIDO keys is particularly applicable for shared PCs and where a mobile phone isn't a viable option, such as for help desk personnel, public kiosk or hospital team. Now let us learn about Windows Hello. Windows Hello is an authentication feature built into Windows 10 and replaces password with a strong two-factor authentication on PCs and mobile devices. This authentication consists of a new type of user credentials that is tied to a device and use a biometric or PIN. Windows Hello lets users authenticate to a Microsoft account, an Active Directory account, an Azure Active Directory account, and identity provider services or relying party services that support Fast ID Online or FIDO version 2.0, which is known as FIDO 2.0. You might wonder why is Windows Hello safer than a password? The Windows Hello pin is backed by a trusted platform module or known as TPM chip, which is a secure crypto processor that is designed to carry out cryptographic operations. The chip includes multiple physical security mechanisms to make it tamper resistant and malicious software is unable to tamper with the security functions of the TPM. Many mobile phones and modern laptops have a TPM chip. Now let's learn about self-service password reset. A self-service password reset is a feature of Azure Active Directory that allows users to change or reset their password without administrator or help desk involvement. If a user account is logged or they are forgotten their password, users can follow a prompt to reset their password and get back to work. Self-service password reset has several benefits. It increases security as help desk add an additional security layer. It saves the organization money by reducing the number of calls and requests the help desk staff handle. It increases productivity, allowing the user can get back to the work faster. Let us look into the following scenarios where self-service password resets are applicable. You can use SSPR at password change, password reset, or account lockout scenarios. So what are the authentication methods you can use SSPR? You can use for mobile application notification, mobile app code, email verification, phone call verification, office phone verification, and it includes security questions as well. If you don't have access to Azure portal, I have included an interactive guide. You can download this by going into a guide to cloud.com. And once you use it, you can just follow along by clicking on this link. And this will teach you how you can set up your SSPR and how you can specify your authentication methods, etc. Passwords are commonly used to authenticate users, but they have many problems. Passwords are difficult for users to remember and easy to guess because good passwords are very difficult to remember. Users often use the same password for multiple applications, providing multiple point of entry for the compromised identity. I hope you now understand how you can strengthen your authentication by using Azure Active Directory methods. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about password protection capabilities of Azure Active Directory. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.